good morning. Saturday the 11th of October 2014. 06.55 Bedwas. It's been wet. It is chilly. There's no wind. It's cloudy. Lots of rain forecast. Looking north. Looking roughly south. Anyway, I'm off to Newport. I hesitate to say going old school because old school really means two or three years ago. Practice day. Next week I've got a Spoons by Train tour going on. Uh, Swansea, Hereford, Bath and the Weatherspoons Autumn Beer Festival starts on the Friday. My poor liver. And I've got a sniffle. Never mind. Everything's good. Here's the bed while it's looking at what. Misty today in Newport and leaves. But, um, it really is the best time of the day. It's quiet, it's calm. There's some coffee and there's some cream coming up. Fine ales, fine. TCPIP IPv4 and interesting. This is not the white one. I might have a crack, crack at the lamp as well. I'm not altogether sure. The Daily Tech News Show, Tom Merritt. Support it at patreon.com. Value for value, as Mr. Curry said. Mm. Ah. Ah. It's all gone flowery. There we go. Coming soon. We're at 2.15 as opposed to 1.89. I think I can guess where I'll be going. Number one, and it looks like it's going to be a craft day today. It's from Adnams Crystal Rye IPA, 5% alcohol by volume. Not a great head on it, not highly carbonated, however, you can smell this resinous. No, that's not really a word. It contains resin, it's piney. Not a great deal of body, but the discourse for the tongue. Sharp, acidic, citrusy. It won't be a great seller, but it works well with the cold, and I like it a lot. B. Number two, in a can. Cans are the big thing of this year. And these glasses, which are good. Segres from Portugal. Which I think I had a freebie at the Great Welsh Beer and Cider Festival back in June. It's 5% alcohol by volume. It's a lager, it's a strong lager. I don't say it's nothing special, it's okay. But I don't think it's going to go down well with the lager drink, does it? tastes a little bit of alcohol. It's not a standard British lager. Which is probably a plus point. Anyway, as I said, B plus. Dig more hopes. Got to have a quick view of the carpet for Mr. Manning and Big Cole. Big Cole, the sausage central here today. Anyway, another can. 
the website says www.original-advisor.cz as drunk by Good King Wenceslas. I'm not sure it's as good as it used to be. So I'm going to give it a B++, but it is... It's hoppy, but it's hoppy with European hops, so you get that bitter finish. I'm liking it. Really nice. Plus the fact it has no rice in it, so I'm not going to go out from here and be violently sick. Anheuser Busch. Or oh, Interbev, I believe they know. There you go. Nicely carbonated. I think this one is no introduction. And it is a bit of a can day today. Bengali Tiger, which according to Untapped is no longer in production. Well, a spoon seems to have bought up four years worth of stock, which is fine. This is an A minus, easily an A minus, and I was speaking to them about the we need to pour it at the bar thing. I couldn't understand it actually, but it's all about presentation. They pour a bit of it, they place the can in front of you with the name facing you, just like it is in the adverts and the magazines. Okay, whatever. No worry. It is a great, great ale. And thank you, Weatherspoon, for bringing this to us. Oh, yeah. Slurring and listening to the British class. British class cast. Happy days. By the way, the Godfrey Morgan's a great pub. Um, the bottle has lost its label. This is American Amber Ale by from Oregon, in the USA, imported. It's a long story. This is actually a bottle and a half. Mm. Right, okay. Um, 5.3% alcohol by volume. I'm thinking craft ale, I know, because I've had it in the United and Bell. Smells crafty. I think it'd be plus plus. It's good. I'm drunk. Listen to the Verge cast. Still thinking about chips. Chips are what the Americans call fries. I know. It's good. I've already said that. Anyway, have to shut up. Okay. Nicole Morgan. A chippy. Wow. Any chips. I'm in a wake after a huge discussion about politics in Pakistan in the chippy, which was really interesting. This is across the pond, which is 4.2% alcohol by volume. My brains. Um, 20 minutes, 25 minutes on train down the other way to Cardiff. Scottish ale with US hops. Um, not really. I'm just thinking B. Sorry, brains, but you can do much better than that. 